Hey everybody, Lightning Spear 78 here. Welcome back to the more this. Uh, I would be a lot more happy about this if I hadn't gone back to the main observatory and found that our first mission of the day is going to be the purple comet of Sea Slug Galaxy. While I am filled to the brim with joy that after this mission I never have to deal with Sea Slide again unless I choose to, non LP wise, I am very frustrated because this mission takes like 20 minutes so i hate to do this but right off the bat you're going to get a taste of the longest one of the longest missions in the game time wise so the purple comet right here big collectathon you can miss a lot of coins so you may have to circle the place a couple of times to get them all so i'm going to speed this all up and you guys are going to enjoy some nice music Sorry about this, guys, but it's what has to be done. See you in a second. Hopefully. Enjoy the music! Finally, I got to the star. It took 14 minutes and 35 seconds, but I did it. There you go, annoying star done, and annoying galaxy done. Okay, now this may seem weird, but I am actually debating on whether or not we should do another purple comet galaxy. And the one that I wouldn't have to fast forward would be Battle Rock. 
And it's kind of an annoying one, but it's fast, and I haven't failed it too many times. However, it is basically a taste of another Purple Comet star to come, and that one is widely, I widely can consider it to be the hardest star in the game. At least for me. Other people consider a different Purple Comet mission to be the hardest star in the game. But the other the, the one that I'm talking about is my hardest and it's very similar to this. This is basically the preliminary round of the other one. However, the other one is in a galaxy we haven't even unlocked yet, so that's not that big of a deal. Anyway, Battle Rock Galaxy, purple coins on the Battle Rock. Yep, it's this mission again. Told you we'd be seeing something like this a bajillion times in the game. You know, the whole canon theme here. So, more or less what you need to do is that on this moving platform, you need to collect all um, 100 purple coins before the, um, the little saucer thing reaches the end of its track. Meaning, before it reaches um, the end of uh, the track where um, the little robot will be waiting for you. Um, it's more or less the same place where you saved Luigi before and all the other stuff. Um, you can't afford to get hit here. Though I don't recommend it. However, if you miss a, co a, a coin, you can't go back for it because the gravity of the saucer will pull you in. And you'll basically have to ride out the entire... Ah! The entire thing, you know, until the end. You can't... I mean, you could just kill yourself on the electric wires, but... Eh. I don't know. I might do that just to save time if I screw this up. Uh, you also gotta make some very, very tricky jumps. I can't believe I made that with getting electrocuted and all. Oh. Yeah, this, oh no, 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 control stick. No, don't mess with me. Oh my god, my nunchuck was screwing up and I was like, no. I'm so close to victory. Okay, got those three. Those three are probably one of the hardest ones to get. And there we go, all 100. Pretty simple if you ask me. Now let's die! No, I'm kidding. Yeah, and it reaches the end of its track, and if you talk to this robot, he'll be like, eh, very nice. But if you have, like, 99 coins, he'll be like, oh, tough luck, sweetie, but that's how the world works. I'm gonna kill you now because you don't have 99 stars, or coins. Either way, you get a star, again. Okay, ignoring any purple coin stars that there may be. As you can see, both Sea Slide and Gold Leaf has cr have crowns on them. So they're completed to their fullest capability. And now it's time for Toy Time Galaxy. Probably one of the cutest and probably my third favorite galaxy in the game. Just because this is one of my favorite missions in the game too. Just because um, it's so creative. It's so cool looking too. Heavy Metal Mecha Bowser is probably one of my favorite missions in the game. Along with um, the third mission in... Um, Freeze Flame. It's probably my second favorite mission just because of its creativity. And look, toy trains! What do you say? Whee! Ah, uh, so cute. Oh god, don't fall. Wait, what do you say? This is fun at all, but shouldn't we be working? <laughs> like, uh, yeah, probably, but... Uh, I guess I'll handle all the work as always. Now, as much as I love this galaxy and it's so cool looking, this galaxy has one of the hardest purple star or purple comets for me in this game. And a very difficult purple comet uh, for other people as well. So I don't know whether we're gonna have to deal with this, that this week or next, but I see it coming in the near future. And plus, who doesn't like the uh, nostalgic theme? <laughs> Okay, um, where am I going here? Okay, I thought I was gonna get electrocuted there. I was like, no! Um, as you can see, the colors indicate what kind of gravity this is. So pink indicates uh, gravity that's taking you to the side like that. Uh, those arrows are pointing down, so it takes you down, but then you got the pink pulling you in, and yeah. Then you just got your launch star, and you're pretty good to go after that. Die. Wow, I timed that like perfectly with the music. <laughs> that was kind of cool. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. 
Toy Time introduces us to a brand new power-up. The Spring! We are now Spring Luigi, probably the hardest to control. And kind of my least favorite power-up in the game, in all honesty. Oh god. Sleep! No, 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 no. Die. But, uh, I mean, Spring Luigi gets things done. He's just kind of difficult to control. Um, there is something down here that I thought I would show real quick. Um, I actually never knew about this until I saw... Oh god, no, 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 don't fall, don't fall. Until I saw, um... Oh god, am I even gonna be able to get in there? Oh, crap! Uh, that's what I get for trying to show an easter egg. I never knew about this until I saw, um, Chugga Conroy's LP in this game. So, shout out to him for showing me this in his LP. Otherwise, I would have never known about that. And for those of you that don't, you know, follow his work or follow mine, um, I guess I'll show this to you. This is a little Easter egg. If you come in here and then go into first person, you'll find that they tucked away a little tiny toy train in this little, uh, in this little, um, alcove for no apparent reason. It, uh, nobody knows why it's there. It's much like the, uh, the book in the bottle mission in, um, Super Mario Sunshine. Nobody's really sure why that's there. Um, many people believe that that, um, that the book that's in Super Mario Sunshine was the same book that, um, uh, Paper Mario 2 took place in. And I can't believe I actually got through that without, um, without Spring Luigi, but... As for the toy train, I don't know what that could be. And of course that book thing, it's not actually proven, it's just theorized by many people to be the book from Super, uh, uh, Paper Mario, uh, not Super Paper Mario, but Paper Mario 2. So that's quite cool. But anyway, and I know I haven't been showing you guys many secrets because I don't know about many myself. But either way, we get an awesome music change. And now we have to take on Mecha Bowser. All you have to do is uh, screw in the screws where they need to be, you know, driven in. And for some reason, that makes him break. Which is kind of weird, because you would think it would be the complete opposite. But, not in this case. However, in this case, it is. Come on. I really like the music here. It really gets you pumped for what you need to do. It's like, yeah, let's take it to make a Bowser. Come on. Oh boy, blue. That was weird. And down this pipe. I don't know why I was expecting to see a launch star. Oh boy, we got little minions. We got little fog breathing minions. Die. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. Oh, come on. No! Die! Oh, dude! Okay, sorry I was lacking in the commentary there. I was trying to figure out what to do next. Um, you want to get in the lunch star now. Don't stand on his arm the entire time. Otherwise, it will, like, fall off and explode and you'll go with it. So, yeah, get to the lunch star ASAP. Okay, we got a match Koopa here, which I have a feeling will cause us trouble. Ooh, and we also got something shooting fireballs at us. Lovely. Oh boy, God, oh, I couldn't do anything to stop that. Hi. Random. What the? Okay, that was weird. Stupid Koopa or Magic Koopa. As you can see, we got little gear modes trapped in there. Those are our uh, little robot. I guess you could call them friends. Oh god! Uh, don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Don't hit me! Uh. Ooh, that was close. And then, ground pound to spring Luigi right down that gigantic rock pillar and into its brain and heart, and it'll explode. Isn't that a lovely image? And with that, we get our first star here in Toy Time Galaxy. And with that, I am also going to end off this episode. So if you like this part, please sub 
subscribe? What do you guys all have to say? You did it. I guess we owe you thanks. Uh, please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I'm wasting time. I thought we were done for. Oh god. Mm. I can't get to the stars. Bring the Ouija Y. Okay, there we go. Finally. That was annoying. Anyway, see you guys next time. Take care. Bye-bye.